Hello learners, we are moving to accounting equation. In this session, we are going to study accounting equation, effects of business transactions on accounting equations, rules of accounting and double entry mechanism. The recording of business transactions in the books of account is based on a fundamental equation called accounting equation. And accounting equation expresses equality of assets on one side and equity on the other side. Accounting equation expresses equity, no? So, it can be the claim of owners or claim of outsiders. In mathematical form, accounting equation can be expressed as assets equals equity. Equity equals liabilities plus capital. Here is a transaction. Sunil started business with cash rupees 3 lakh. So, this is the capital. So, let us see the effect of business transaction in the accounting equation. Cash of rupees 3 lakh is coming inside the business and it is in the form of capital. So, accounting equation is satisfied here. Assets equals liability plus capital. On both sides, we have 3 lakh. Another transaction. Sunil purchased machinery for rupees 40,000 and furniture for rupees 20,000. In this transaction, machinery, when we are writing the accounting equation, on the asset side, you can include three columns, cash column, machinery column and furniture column. And after equal sign, you can include capital and liabilities. Here, from the earlier accounting equation, you have 3 lakh as balance. And after that, from this transaction, machinery of rupees 40,000 is coming inside the business. So, under machinery column, you have to add 40,000. Under furniture column, that is also purchased, you have to add 20,000. So, how much of cash is going from the business? 40 plus 20, 60,000 cash is going from the business. So, cash is deducted rupees 60,000. After deducting the cash, accounting equation will be like this. 3 lakh minus 60,000 as cash. That is 2 lakh 40,000 cash, 40,000 machinery, furniture 20,000. So, that will come to 3 lakh on the asset side and liability side also we have 3 lakhs. So, accounting equation is satisfied. In the accounting equation, there will be either increase in capital or increase in assets in every transaction or decrease in capital or decrease in assets. It can appear in any of these four combinations. Either increase in capital or decrease in asset in a transaction or increase in asset or decrease in capital like that some combination will be there. Sunil withdrew cash for personal use rupees 5000. This is another transaction. So, cash is going from the business. Cash worth rupees 5000 is going from the business. So, from the cash column we are deducting minus 5000 and capital of 5000 rupees is going. So, in the capital column we are deducting 5000. So, in every transaction, when we are seeing the accounting equation, there can be an increase in capital or decrease in capital or increase in asset or decrease in asset. Here is another transaction. Sunil withdrew cash for personal use, rupees 5000. Earlier accounting equation was 2,40,000 cash, machinery 40,000, furniture 20,000 and capital of 3 lakh. When cash is withdrawn for personal use, that is drawings. So, cash of 5000 is going from the business. So, that is from the capital it is going. 
So, in the cash column you have to deduct minus 5000 because cash of 5000 is going. In the capital it is in the form of drawings from the business. For personal use this money is going. So, minus 5000 in the capital column. So, again accounting equation is satisfied 240000 minus 5000 in the cash column 235000 plus machinery 40000 plus furniture 20000. In the capital 3 lakh minus 5000 2 lakh 95000. So, in the asset side also 2 lakh 95000, liability side also 2 lakh 95000. So, accounting equation is satisfied. Business enterprise borrows money in the form of loan from outsiders to carry its activity. Money borrowed from outsiders is a liability for the business. Rupees 1,50,000 were borrowed from Shipra. Cash is coming inside the business for Rupees 1,50,000. So, in the cash column you can add plus 1,50,000. It is borrowed from one party. So, liability is increasing, creditors increasing, Shipra being a creditor increasing. So, in the liabilities column you will add 1,50,000 and in the cash column total will come to earlier equation 2,35,000 plus 1,50,000. So, total will come to 3,85,000 and in the asset side when we are totaling 3,85,000 plus 40,000 plus 20,000 will be on the asset side and on the liability side. Liability has increased by 1,50,000 and capital earlier it was 2,95,000 no change. So, 2,95,000 plus 1,50,000. So, both the sides asset side and the liability side again equals and here also accounting equation is satisfied. That is on both sides 4,45,000. A business concern has to meet some expenses in its normal course of operation. Which are the expenses? Expenses like insurance premium, postage, salary, rent, repairs, etc. Payment of these expenses will reduce net income. That is, it will reduce the cash expenses will reduce the cash balance. As expenses are reducing the cash balance, it is deducted from the capital also. Business concern receives some revenue. Just now we have mentioned about expenses. So, we have to consider revenue also. Business concern receives some revenue during normal course of operations, which can be the revenue items. Commission received, rent received, etc. can be revenue items. Revenue is received in cash. So, it is added to the cash balance. Revenue increases net income. So, it is added to the capital. Once again, accounting equation is expressed. Assets equals liabilities plus capital. Accounting equation is affected by every business transaction. Any increase or decrease in the assets or liabilities or capital can be identified by preparing accounting equation. Every business transaction satisfies the dual aspect concept of accounting. You have studied earlier dual aspect concept. That is every transaction is affecting two aspects and accounting equation serves as the basis for preparing the balance sheet. What is the effect of accounting equation in various transactions? Let us analyze it one by one. Namita started business with cash rupees 3,50,000 introduced as capital. So, in the asset side equation will come in this form. Asset equals liabilities plus capital. In the asset side, you can open a column for cash. In the cash column, cash balance of 3,50,000 will be shown. 
and capital column 350,000. So, asset equals liabilities plus capital, accounting equation is satisfied. She purchased goods for cash, rupees 90,000. So, in the asset side, you can open one more column for goods. So, goods in the goods column, you have to add 90,000. When goods are purchased, cash is going from the business. So, in the cash column, you have to deduct 90,000. So, cash balance will come to 350,000 minus 90,000. That is 260000 plus 90000 plus goods worth 90000 so asset side value becomes 350000 when you are considering the right hand side that is liabilities plus capital there also value is 350000 because of the capital so here also accounting equation is satisfied Purchase goods from Mohit for rupees 60,000 on credit. It is a credit transaction. So, goods are coming inside the business. So, under assets, you have already opened a column for goods. So, in the goods column, you have to add 60,000. Here, creditors increased. So, liabilities in that you can open a column for creditors. In that, you have to add 60,000. Here also accounting equation is satisfied that is cash balance of 260000 plus goods increased 90000 plus 60000 150000 so assets equals 410000 and liabilities 60000 plus capital 350000 so 410000 on the asset side and 410000 on the liability side Accounting equation is satisfied. Sold goods to Ashish for rupees 40,000. Cost price of that goods is rupees 25,000. And received cash worth rupees 10,000. And balance is received after one month. Earlier accounting equation is given. And the effect of this transaction is in this way. In the goods column, deduct the cost price worth rupees 25,000 because goods are going when goods are sold and cash is coming inside the business for rupees 10,000. So add 10,000 in the cash column. Remaining goods are sold on credit because balance will be received after one month. So debtors are increasing to rupees 30,000. Out of 40,000, 10,000 is received in the form of cash and 30,000 on credit. That is why 30,000 is shown in the debtors column. So, new accounting equation should be written and in addition to that selling price minus cost price 40,000 minus 25,000 uh, will be the profit because selling price is more than the cost price. So, profit is there. Profit will be added with the capital. If it is a loss that is Cost price is more than the selling price means it will be a loss. So, that is deducted from the capital. So, in this question we have a profit. So, it is added with the capital. So, plus 15,000 with capital. So, in the cash column 260,000 plus 10,000 will give you 270,000. In the goods column 150,000 minus 25,000. 125000 will be the balance debtors column 30000 270000 plus 125000 plus 30000 and liability side liabilities 60000 plus capital 365000 so accounting equation is satisfied here also then paid salaries to employees for rupees 16000 when salaries are paid cash is going from the business from the capital it is going so in the cash column you have to deduct 16,000 in the capital also you have to deduct 16,000 so in cash column 270,000 old equation balance minus 16,000 new equation balance 254,000 plus goods worth rupees 125,000 
plus debtors 30,000. And in the liability side, liability is worth rupees 60,000 and capital 365,000 minus 16,000. It came to 349,000. That is 4 lakh 9,000. 4 lakh 9,000 is the balance on both sides. So accounting equation is satisfied. Here are some more transactions in which we can be thorough with the accounting equation. First transaction, Heyman started business with cash, rupees 3 lakh. Second transaction, purchase goods for cash, rupees 80,000. So when business is started, cash increases and capital also increases. So in the cash column, I have included 3 lakh and capital 3 lakh. Cash will come under assets. So in assets, I have included cash column and cash increases and capital increases. Second transaction, purchase goods for cash. Goods are coming inside the business. So with the goods column, add it 80,000. When goods are purchased, cash is going from the business. So in the cash column, deducted 80,000. New accounting equation will be in the cash column balance 220000 plus goods balance 80000 equals liability 0 plus capital balance 3 lakh another set of transactions sold goods costing 30000 for rupees 45000 purchase goods from monica 70000 earlier accounting equation is given a new transaction sold goods for cash Goods worth rupees 30,000 is going from the business cost price. Cash worth rupees 45,000 is coming inside the business selling price. Selling price is more than the cost price. So it is a profit. 45,000 selling price minus cost price 30,000 will give you 15,000. As it is a profit, it is added with the capital. So capital will be increased by 15,000 that is it will come to 3 lakh plus 15,000 that is 3 lakh 15,000 capital. Cash 2 lakh 20,000 plus 45,000. So in the new accounting equation cash of 2 lakh 65,000 plus 50,000 goods equals capital 3 lakh 15,000. So on both sides 3 lakh 15,000 total accounting equation is satisfied. Next transaction, purchase goods from Monica. Goods are coming inside the business, so goods worth rupees 70,000. So in the goods column, I have added 70,000. And it is purchased on credit, so creditors increases. Liability increases. So in the liabilities column, I have added 70,000. So in the new accounting equation, Cash worth rupees 2 lakh 65,000 plus goods 1 lakh 20,000 equals liability plus capital, liability 70,000 plus capital 3 lakh 15,000. That is on both sides, total came to 3 lakh 85,000. So accounting equation is satisfied. Another transaction, salary paid 7,000 and commission received 5,000. When salary is paid, cash is decreasing, capital is decreasing. Salary paid, when salary is paid, cash worth rupees 7,000 is moving from the cash and from the capital deduct 7,000. From the cash column deduct 7,000, from the capital column deduct 7,000. So, the effect of salary paid is like this. New accounting equation will come after deducting this. Commission received, income is coming inside the business. So, cash is increasing, capital is increasing. In the cash column, add 5000. In the capital column, add 5000. Then you will get the new accounting equation as cash worth rupees 263000 plus goods worth rupees 120000. That is total of 3,83,000 on the asset side and liabilities plus capital also 3,83,000. 70,000 liability and 3,13,000 capital.
another transaction paid cash to Monica in full settlement 69,000. Actually, we have purchased from Monica for rupees 70,000 and we are settling this transaction by giving only rupees 69,000. Goods sold to Rahul costing rupees 20,000 for rupees 25,000. So, first transaction paid cash to Monica in full settlement. We have paid only 69,000. So, cash is going from the business only 69,000. In the cash column, deduct 69,000. Liability is settled, fully settled. So, minus 70,000. Whole liability will come to zero after this because it is settled. There is a profit arising because we have not paid 1,000. So, capital is increased. So, in the capital column, add 1,000. 70,000 minus 69,000 is 1,000. That is added with the capital. And after that, you have to write the new accounting equation with cash 1,94,000. That is 2,63,000 minus 69,000. And cash came to 1,94,000 and goods 1,20,000. Value came to 3,14,000 on the asset side. In the liability side, capital 3,14,000. Another transaction goods sold to Rahul. Cost price 20,000. So that much amount is deducted from the goods column. And goods are sold to Rahul. So a debtor is arising. So debtors column should be included in the asset side. So plus 25,000. It is sold for rupees 25,000. So selling price is 25,000. Debtors are arising for rupees 25,000. Selling price 25,000 minus cost price 20,000. So 5,000 profit as selling price is more than the cost price. That profit is added with the capital. Then new accounting equation should be written after deducting 20,000 from the goods and adding 25,000 from debtors and adding 5,000 from the capital. New accounting equation is like this cash worth rupees 194,000, goods worth rupees 1 lakh, and debtors worth rupees 25,000. So, value on the asset side 3 lakh 19,000. On the liability side, liabilities plus capital, it will come to 3 lakh 19,000. Another transaction Nuthan started business with cash 4 lakh, purchased goods from Rohit 60,000. So, Cash, you know to prepare the accounting equation, you have to draw the accounting equation format and write the transaction. In the cash column, add 4 lakh. In the capital column, add 4 lakh. Purchase goods from Rohit. Goods are coming inside the business. So, in the asset side, draw a column for goods, add 60,000. Goods purchased on credit, creditors increases. So, liability 60,000 will be added. New accounting equation, cash worth rupees 4 lakh plus goods worth rupees 60,000. That is total of 4 lakh 60,000 on the asset side. Equals liabilities plus capital, 60,000 plus 4 lakh, 4 lakh 60,000. So accounting equation is satisfied. Sold goods costing rupees 25,000 for cash 22,000 and purchase goods for cash rupees 50,000. In this case, how the accounting equation is affecting? Goods are sold, cost price is 25,000. So in the goods column minus the cost price 25,000. It is sold for rupees 22,000. So cash is coming inside the business 22,000. Cost price is 25,000, selling price is 22,000. So there is a loss. Cost price is more than the selling price. 25,000 minus 22,000, 3,000 is the loss. It will be deducted from the capital. And from the earlier accounting equation, when we are deducting, we will get the new accounting equation as 4,22,000 cash, 35,000 goods. And in the liability side, early accounting equation will be added 60,000 liability plus capital 3,97,000. On both sides, total is same. Coming to another transaction, purchase goods for cash. Goods are 
increasing so in the goods column plus 50,000. Cash is going minus 50,000 in the cash column. New accounting equation will come with cash 372,000 goods worth rupees 85,000 and liability 60,000 plus capital 3,97,000, 4,57,000. Salary outstanding another transaction, rent received also another transaction. Salary outstanding is a liability. So that will be added with the liability, 3000 added with the liability. It is reducing the capital, so deduct it from the capital. After that, you have to write the new accounting equation, cash 372000 plus goods 85000 equals liability 63000 plus capital 394000. Here also accounting equation is satisfied. Then rent received, money is coming inside the business. Cash is increasing in cash column plus 6000, in the capital column plus 6000. After that new accounting equation 378000 with cash goods 85000 that is 463000 on the asset side and liabilities 63000 plus capital 4 lakh that is 4 lakh 63000 on both sides then paid cash to rohit on account 35000 goods sold to bharti cost price 30000 it is sold for 40000 the effect of transaction in the accounting equation is like this paid cash to rohit on account cash minus 35000 is going from the business liability is decreasing by minus 35,000. So deducting from the liabilities minus 35,000. New accounting equation is cash 343,000 plus goods 85,000 equals liability 28,000 and capital 4 lakh that is 4 lakh 28,000 on both sides. Accounting equation is satisfied. Goods sold to Bharti. Cost price 30,000. So 30,000 is deducted in the goods column and it is sold on credit debtors increase plus 40,000 in the debtors column. 40,000 minus 30,000 that is selling price minus cost price will give 10,000. It is a profit selling price is more than the cost price. So profit so added with the capital. Then new accounting equation will be like this cash 3,43,000 plus goods 55,000 plus debtors 40,000 that is 4,38,000 on the asset side and liability 28,000 plus capital 4,10,000 here also 4,38,000 so accounting equation is satisfied so dear learners in this session we have identified how the accounting equation has affected various transactions and the meaning of accounting equation also you have studied. You have to do the problem yourself then only you will be thorough with this subject. Thank you. Hindustan ke har kone mein naujawano ke paas pratibha hai. Unne avsar chahi. NIOS tita raha hai yuvaon ko avsar aage badhne ka. NIOS se padhne wale in yuvaon ne kiya hai sansthan ko gorvan vet. Divyango ne ban ke dikhaya hai sabal aur atmirbhar NIOS ke saath. Aap bhi judiye NIOS ke sang.